All right, Bolo Buddies, let's talk about my bread and butter Bolos, items that I picked up cheap and sold for $35 or less on eBay. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about my bread and butter Bolos, items I sold on eBay. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. And you're gonna see that I source cheap, and I'm going to show you how I sold these items. So let's get started here. The first item, I picked all of these up at the Goodwill bins. And the bins, you pay by the pound. If you want to see some of my Goodwill bins videos, oh my goodness, they're super fun. You actually get to see me dig. I dig to the bottom of the bins for toys just like this. So this one is a bundle. I picked up this set, this one and this one, and they all came from the Goodwill bins. I did do three separate listings and somebody bundled all three of them. They got them for $24.18. I do have combined shipping on bundles for my first class, which is now ground advantage of $5. So they paid $5 shipping for all of them. So I probably took a little bit of a loss on shipment um, because it was probably more than $5 to ship because there were four vehicles. All right, so those are the VTech GoGo -Go Smart Wheels. And this is the Minnie Mouse, and this one is also Minnie Mouse. But these are just the helicopter and the green SUV. The next item is this Connex Black Motor Power Battery Powered Forward Reverse Replacement Part. I find these all the time at the bins. They get left behind. They come in sets. People leave the sets behind. They're all over the place, these connects parts. And people don't even think to grab this item. And this is an item that you want to grab every time because they sell. This is a great replacement part that people are always looking for. I took a best offer of $9 and the buyer paid shipping. This guy right here, I think he came out of a Goodwill toy lot. I can't remember. I didn't mark it down. But I sold this for a best offer of $8. The buyer was all in for $16.97 with tax and shipping. It's a 2008 LFL Hasbro Star Wars Galactic Heroes Dubak with Sado. Sado. Saddle. All right. Counted cross stitch. Any cross stitch kits, I pretty much pick them up. They range from bread and butter to big money. I do have a video on cross stitch kits that sell for big money. This one was a bread and butter. I got it at an estate sale um, with a whole bunch of crafters items. So probably less than a dollar in this. I sold it for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And it was new old stock. NOS stands for new old stock. This Halloween horse head. I had this forever. Um, <laughs> it's just a weird item. I got it out of a thrift store mystery box. And, you know, it just takes the right buyer. <laughs> and I'm laughing for a reason. Um, the next item I sold, they also bought this item. It is a vintage Gifco 1984 scroll calendar, reversible hanging um, calendar. And it's from 1984. And it's two-sided, which is pretty cool. And this one came from a garage sale for 75 cents. And the person that bought these two items is Mac Pack. Join the pack. This is her eBay store. She also bought some clothing items from me. I don't usually show you guys my clothing items, so I left those out. But uh, thank you so much, Mac Pack. Join the pack for your purchase. She is also starting a YouTube channel. Um, I believe it's Mac Pack Reselling. I don't think she changed the name. So she and she may be on Whatnot in the future also. So if you guys are not on Whatnot, you can use my link down below to join. You can get $15 to shop. Everybody is going over to Whatnot, either as a buyer or a seller. I've got both links down there. You guys got to come and join in on the fun. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out. It's super fun. I'm doing lots of live shows. So join below and come bookmark Bolo Buddies. All right, here are just some of the items in her store. And she is, she works full time. So eBay is her side hustle. So check her out and follow her store by clicking on the save seller. She's also a Bolo Buddies member. So I am going to link her down in the description of the video. So altogether, she paid $27.89 for the two items plus shipping. The next item are these vintage ET stickers. Do you remember when I went to the bins and I got all of those scratch and sniff? 
I also got another envelope of miscellaneous stickers. This is a part of that batch. This sold for $15.50 plus shipping. If you guys want to see that video, um, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It's just type in Bolo Buddies Goodwill Bins and filter by popular. It's one of my most popular Goodwill Bins videos. I think it says I will make thousands, which I will. These scratch and sniff stickers that I found at the bins, just unbelievable what they sell for. And in that video, I show you some of the items that I already sold. This is a Neopets. This is a McDonald's promo. Anything Neopets I pick up, even if it's McDonald's, they do pretty good. This got for, um, this got, I got this from a garage sale for 25 cents and I sold it for $11 and 16 cents plus shipping. This is a Lego set. I got this at a thrift store for $2. I could not even believe it. And I sold this for $34 and 10 cents plus shipping. It is a Minecraft minifigures Lego set from 2016 and it is retired. This Walt Disney World tote took forever to sell. Forever. I thought it was going to be a home run. It holds pictures. It's so cute. But no, it took, took a long time. You just never know. I don't even remember where I got it. I think I got it at a garage sale. I think it was probably like a buck or two. And it was just long tail. Sold it for a best offer of 15 plus shipping. And I was glad to see it go. These rollerblades. This was just something that I wanted to try out. The reason I grabbed them is because I think they're vintage and they're Barbie. And I just figured that they were going to appeal to someone. The thing that concerned me about these was the weight because they were heavy. But hey, they ended up selling. I bought them for five, sold them for uh, $15.50 plus shipping. Connects parts and pieces. Talked about this earlier. The motor sells much quicker. These took forever to sell. I parted out a roller coaster set and you guys, I did that video a long time ago. Let's see. Listed in 2021. Long tail. Some of them sell quick. Some of them take a long time to sell. It just depends what people are looking for. You do have to price them competitively. But if you get something and it's incomplete, this is a great way to make a lot of money over a long period of time. So sold these for $6.20 plus shipping. The next item is this Pendleton hat. I got this at an estate sale and I probably had about a buck in it. And I sold this for a best offer of $30 plus shipping. This is a vintage Ken Toys 1998 River Caravan Camping Travel Trailer. This came out of a thrift store mystery box and I had no idea what it was. I just looked it up and it sold for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. This is a Santa Buns rolled candle, Lumi light hearth and home shaped cinnamon roll. It's a cinnamon roll candle. Don't you just want to eat it? Look how good it looks. I bet it smells good too. Got this at a garage sale for $1, sold it for $15 and 50 cents plus shipping. If you guys have not seen my candles that sell for big money. Oh my goodness. You got to go check it out. I will try to remember to link it in the description of the video. Wow. This is a vintage Mattel loving family dollhouse doll. She's the cowgirl from 2001. I got her at a garage sale for 25 cents, sold her for $15 and 50 cents plus shipping. Pac-Man. Here are Pac-Man stickers. These also came from that Goodwill bins envelope. Oh my goodness. What a haul that was. Sold these for $24 and 80 cents plus shipping. This is a vintage Halloween mask from 1998. This one was very long tail. Also, you can see right here, it does have the information on it. And that's how I knew the date. I sold this for $14 plus shipping and it came out of a thrift store mystery box. This one right here, I got out of a mystery box. And it's Sesame Street figure Snuffleupagus Green Cart Terra. And it's yellow. Never seen this before. Thought I, you know, did Google Lens, looked it up, figured it out, sold it for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. Small toys do sell. People look for these. Some of them are long tail. Some of them sell quick. Neopets. I told you I pick up Neopets. This is a blue figure from Thinkway Toys. It's, I also put Cake Topper in the title. This sold for $12.40 plus shipping. A lot of times people will look for these um, 
as cake toppers. I actually had somebody reach out to me on Mercari and they actually made cakes and they wanted me to express ship something to them that they had ordered from Amazon or something like that. And it was delayed. And I never ended up hearing back from them, but I was like, it's going to cost you a ton of money to express ship these toys to you. And I, I don't know, Mercari messaging. That's one thing that I really think needs worked on. I think you need like a bing bong or something like that. Some sort of notification other than just you go in and you see you have a message. I wish there was some sort of alert. And if there is that I don't know about, let me know in the comments because I would love to know when I have a message on Mercari because I get them and I don't see them for hours because I'm not always checking, you know, my app. Like on eBay, it pops up on my screen. It's really easy and functionable. Um, functionable, functional. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, this sold for $12.40 plus shipping. I got it at the Goodwill bins. These I always pick up. They're the peekaboo blocks. It's just one of those things that I like to pick up. I don't know. I'm a sucker for these. I find them everywhere. Uh, these happen to come from a thrift store. I paid 50 cents for them. I sold them for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. Am I getting rich off these? No, but they're making somebody very happy and I can usually source them very cheap. This hat came from the Goodwill bins. This was in one of my Goodwill bins challenges. It may have been good, the bins bingo, hashtag bins bingo. And um, it's a vintage Capelli straw world, black straw hat, derby hat, flowers. Sold this for $31 plus shipping. Got it at the Goodwill bins. So it's probably like a buck. This here. All right. So. Franklin Mint, I did a whole video on my sourcing with Bola Buddies YouTube channel. If you guys are not subscribed to that, definitely check it out. I do have it linked down below. That is my other channel. Um, not putting a lot of content on there, but people had requested that I did some of the Goodwill Bins videos uncut, where it's just the sound of the bins, no education, just me digging. So I have put a few of those over there recently, so you can check those out. And I have past videos you know, lots and lots of video content over there. I just need to do better about posting. But a video a day over here and then trying to do the other two channels, it's just a lot. So I'm putting stuff over there when I can. I would love for you guys to follow. But I do have a video about these salt and pepper shakers and how I parted them out to make more money. I picked this up at the Goodwill. Um, I bought them all for one price. I thought that the sets were complete, but the other frog was damaged, if I remember correctly. So I sold this one individually. And what's he doing with his finger? He's like holding his finger. Do frogs have fingers? Not really. But anyway, uh, these are Franklin Mint. This is what it looks like on the bottom. 1987 FM Franklin Mint made, uh, crafted in Taiwan. I ended up taking a best offer for this guy for $9 plus shipping and... Um, not a big money bolo, but hey, it sold. I'm happy. There was a whole set of the Noah's Ark uh, animals. And I want to say I've sold a few of them, but I have others listed. So if you're looking for them, definitely check out my eBay store. Somebody asked me the other day for my eBay store link, and it is always linked in the description of all my videos. And if you use code Bolo Buddies when you check out, if you happen to buy something from me, you will get a discount. I want to say it's 20% off, but I can't remember. I made it a while ago. Um, it should tell you down in the description. If you use best offer, that will not apply. So that only applies to full purchase, full purchases, like if you add it to your cart. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Come follow me on Whatnot. $15 to join with the link down below. Uh, there's other uh, links down there. If you want to join like Mercari and Poshmark, you guys will get money to shop and... All my referrals are down there. You don't have to use my referrals, but most of them, you get something if you use them. And it helps me and I appreciate it. You like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.